Hello and welcome to this video on how to add a data card in Power Apps. So what are data cards? Well, a data card really has two purposes here. So the first thing it does is it actually holds all the information that Power Apps needs to save back to the data source. So for example, in this one here, address one, we can see here in the data field column, that's the actual column name, which is going to be saved back in the data source. So whatever you, information I enter in, into this uh, card and this control gets saved back to this data field. In this case, it's going to be in the Dataverse. That's the name of the field. The display name is what I want to show in the label here. So at the moment it's showing address one. That has nothing to do with the data. And the other purpose of the data card is to hold the control. So it holds the label and it holds, in this case, a text box. And the text box is where I enter the information that gets saved back to the data source. And all this sits in a form. So you need to add a form to your screen before you can add any data cards. So to add a data card, the first thing you need to do is click on the form. Then come along here to the property section and click on where it says fields, click on edit fields. And these are currently all the fields that are on my form. Um, click on one here, you can see first name. So that's actually the data card first name. So here, I, where it says add field, I click on that and you can either search for the field. So in this case, I'm going to put on, for example, let's see what I could use here, perhaps country and postcode. So I could search in here for country and it would come up there, country. But in this case, I can just click it. And I also want postcode. So if I scroll down, I'll add postcode in there. And then click on Add. And now it's dropped those data cards onto the screen. So here they are. There's a card for country, and there's a card for postcode. So now I could enter data into those fields when I run the form. And on the left side here, on the tree view for that particular screen, under where it says form, you can see all the data cards here. So the ones I've just added are country and postcode. You can delete them just by clicking the three dots and clicking on delete. You can also rename them as well, although I tend not to do that. You might also want to add a blank card. So you can click on the form again, come along here to where it says edit fields, do exactly the same thing. But on the right hand side here, you've got three little dots. If you click that, it says add a custom card. So I've now added a custom card in there. And you can see it right at the bottom here. You can also move any of these things around by holding your mouse down and just dragging it to wherever you want and that will reposition it on the screen. So I tend to use these data cards, these empty data cards to create kind of space between controls. So here it's put my empty data card in there like that. So what I could do is if I wanted to create a completely blank row um, after these top three fields here, perhaps I want to create some space so that all the address details falls a bit further down. Um, I could do that by adding some blank cards in here and that would force these three fields down. Um, the thing is with forms is that you're very restricted on where you can position fields. Um, you've got the different columns here 
in this case it's showing three but you can't really drag the controls to where you want them they tend to snap into place but for example I could add another two custom cards and then I could just reposition things so all of the cards fall after the age and you can see now it's created a space there just by using blank cards so I hope that's given you an idea of how to add data cards to your forms if you like this video please click the button to like it or why not subscribe to my channel or you can even download my free Power Apps for Newbies book at www.powerappsfornewbies.com